All right, these guys used to be a dollar. Now they're a dollar twenty-five. What the heck's going on with this? Anyways, go to the dollar store, get yourself some some skulls, right? Some dollar store skulls. We're gonna be doing some wackiness after the stop motion. Uh, uh, get some skull head. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and take this out. First thing you want to do though is uh, seriously, you want to minimize any kind of spillage by getting that seam right. That's where they blow up the skull. So whenever they're in the factory, there's the blowhole. So make sure that you. Seal it up, I just used duct tape, and then I'm just gonna kind of burnish it just to make sure that it, the sealing surface is okay. But I didn't really have any problems, so you shouldn't really have any problems either. Next thing you wanna do is blow out the back of the head, right? I'm just gonna use this uh, this cap, and then I'm just, boom, like that, right? No big deal. Pop it out, do it to the next one. So now I wanna figure out how much stuff I'm gonna need. And so I filled up one of the skulls with water, and it turns out that it held about a liter's worth of, of stuff. So as far as the mix goes, I don't wanna go too high, too low. Definitely not too low. So with two skulls, I need two liters worth of mix. And this bag says that it will cover a volume of 0.45 cubic feet, which comes out after unit conversion to 12.75 liters. And so since it's 2.4 liters for a 60 pound bag, that's a 125 ratio. And so with only two liters of what I need, that comes out to nine and a half pounds worth of mix. So how much water do I need? Again, I have to do more unit conversion. And based on the 2.4 liters for a 60 pound bag, I only need nine and a half pounds. So that comes out to 375 milliliters worth of water. So math aside, all you need to know is for two skulls, 375 mils for nine and a half pounds of mix, you mix them together, a lot of math. Whew, let's give it to it. Ah. Uh. Get this dust mask off. All right, so we mix the sack, sack crete, and I uh, no, 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 like this. I uh, uh, pretty much used the rest of my bag that was in there. It was a yeah, it was about like maybe nine pounds and ten ounces, and so yeah, came out pretty good. That's how much I have left after mixing it. I wanted it to flow a little more freely, so instead of using about 375, I had a liter in here. And it's sitting at, yeah, a little shy of, I think I left 375. So you do the math. I did the other math for you. Anyways, so I filled up these bad boys. And yeah, it was pretty well full. It took a lot of uh, sack creed. And so a little bit juicy, all the, all the goo is settled up top. But I'll wipe these down. I'll let the, uh, I might decant off. I don't know, decant, is that the right word? Probably not. Some of this extra water, or I could just do like this. It's just a nub in the head anyway, where they have their lobotomy. So, yeah, I'm just kind of like, ooh, get that rolling around. And also, you saw me hit it in the, uh, and try to smack it. You see, there's like bubbles coming out right there. We don't want any bubbles. I hit it with the, uh, with the Pam, right? Not Pam, the off-brand Pam, non-Pam Pam. That way, hopefully it'll release a little bit better. I also want to try to get these a little bit more level because I can see that like there's some nubbage right here where there should be less nubbage. So we had a bit of a uh, bit of a mix-up with this bad boy right here. And by mix-up, I mean um, literally with maybe the mix or just my carelessness. But it uh, the teeth fell off and it exploded. <laughs> so we're gonna let this one cure in the sun for quite a few more days. I took this one out of the mold. It was maybe. Uh, four days in. I figured 48 hours according to the package, but then another two days for just the fact that it's sealed. It's not like, you know, baking in the sun like it is now. And so uh, this one, however, we're going to leave in for, how long has it been now? A week? Seven days. Today's day seven. We're going to figure it out. All right. Yeah. It's all a work in progress. All right. So we got this one. We got it cut out. You can see my cut marks, right? on this guy right here. So I cut it like down the back, but it also split the seam right here. So that kind of sucks. And then I just went straight down the front or straight down from this hole down to the jaw. And uh, that's how I cut this one out. And granted, right, this is like uh, the backside, like this right here. But I don't know, man, this uh, this one with the aggregate in it, it's like real crappy. You know what I mean? Like the, the jaw fell off, dude. So like, and then there's just rocks, right? So it still looks, um, Scary, you know what I mean? But uh, it still kind of sucks. So this one right here, I've left in for like numerous days. It's very heavy and it's very hot because it's been hot. It's hot because it's hot. Let's get our surgical tools. All right. 
Uh, I intend to do pretty much the same kind of situation here. I just want to go like from the jaw to the bing bong to the back. Oh God, it's all gooey. Oh, it's already pulling away from the thing too, so that's good. It's I can see from the inside it's pulling away from the from the booyah, pulling away from the plastic. All right, that's what I mean by booyah, folks. Come on, pay attention. Keep up, keep up. That should be a song. So do as I say, not as I do, but you shouldn't really be cutting towards you. All right, I'm gonna cut towards you. Woo, see, that's why, folks, that's why. That's why you don't wanna be cutting towards yourself because I could have like taken an eye out, you know what I mean? Oh, I feel it, oh yes, okay, good. But yeah, keep peeling, baby, keep peeling. Like, a, like an onion. Ow, dude, I got like this crazy blister. We had a buddy at work, his name is Blister because he only shows up when the work is done. <laughs> I was like, hey, what's up, Blister? He's like, why do you come with that? Because we finished like 20 minutes ago. It's lunch. All right, so uh, I'm going to spare you the details, right? But I'm going to come here. I'm going to go like this. And then I'm going to take this one like this. And just all the way over here. And then we're just going to kind of peel it away. Like an orange. All right, so we busted the flap. Boom. All right, so now we just want to like kind of peel it away. And ideally not like jack it up. Jack it up. You remember that song? It was by like Fatboy Slam or whatever. It was on the uh, Essential Selection. I remember that much. Track it up. Nobody knows what I'm talking about. Forget it. If you didn't have the Essential Essential Selection with like uh, Fatboy Slim and Paul Loganfold, you won't know what I'm talking about. Oh baby, yes. No, that's good. That's what I wanted. I wanted it to go down to the thing. Whew. Okay, it's hot. I'm sweaty. Not really. I'm not sweaty. I glisten. I don't sweat. Okay, anyways. Enough humble bragging. Come on, baby. Don't be like, don't be jacked up like the other one. Oh, look at that. You got like a, a piece of chorizo, like right in the, right in the mouth. Just make it in the mouth. Boo, 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 boo. The nose looks good though. It's a little bit jacked up, but that's okay. You got like a, uh, another piece of chorizo right there. Ooh, it also still feels strangely wet, even though it's been in the sun for like a week and a half. But, uh, but yeah, that's freaking nuts. Let's center it up. Oh yeah, look at that. It's like who's in Grant's tomb, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, Cozy, we don't. That's pretty exciting, right? Comparatively. So just a note, right? A couple a couple learning, uh key learning in this situation is number one, uh don't use the aggregate uh what is it? Concrete, right? Get the cement. I've also been a little bit weary only because like my mother, she used to use the uh the um she used to make like planters with a mix and it was you had to buy the cement and mix it with sand and it would it would pit like crazy i mean it looked cool but yeah it would like pit so i would probably anyway the point of the story is avoid the aggregate avoid the ones with with sand unless you do like a, a better mix like maybe there's a little bit of uh trial and error who's trying to i feel like a dentist the the skull bit like this right here like you got pretty good detail i like that and like the forehead like vein i don't know what this is it's not a vein it's like a fissure or something like look at that look at that profile it's like cro magnon man he's dope i'd go out with him cool let's paint it so earlier i was trying to go through this process step by step uh, with a Bob Ross voice, but it was too soft and you can't hear anything. So I'll just voice over. But what I've done, what I've done so far is I just laid on some white spray paint, uh, primer and allowed that to dry so that I have uh, a good, a good sealed surface for me to apply this weathering. And this is the same kind of weathering technique that I did in my junk heap robot video that I did. And you can check that out on the top. And all I did was I'm taking some really black, it's ebony, uh, black acrylic paint and I'm heavily diluting it with water. And I'm gonna just go through all these little accentuated parts like this crack in the skull here, or the fissure, the joint, whatever you wanna call it, the eyes, the teeth, the nose, and I just really want it to pop. Uh, and, and this weathering technique is really where it's at. So you lay it on, uh, I'm just using an acid brush, and you lay it on just like ink, right? You want it thin like ink. And you just do piece by piece. I wouldn't really recommend doing the whole thing at once because since it is so thin, it might dry and then you won't get the effect that you're looking for. But just go piece by piece, lay it on pretty thick, give it a few seconds and then wipe it away. And then you can rinse and repeat as necessary. Not necessarily rinse, that's just more shampoo, but you get the point. All right, so there we go. And I'm not going to do the back. I'm not going to do the bottom, right? There's a bit of, a bit of uh, spray paint, but that's okay. And then 
and let me whoop, come out here. Already a lot better, right? And then you can even go nuts. You can even go more nuts than this. I've seen folks that do it whenever they have the, uh, like the brown. They'll do some brown areas. They'll even do some like reddish blue areas. Uh, I mean, not reddish blue, reddish green areas just to accentuate like uh, some sort of decomposition, which is kind of slick. I like that. I'm gonna put this out for Halloween. There it is, in all of its glory. Boom, you get some multiple shots, right? There's some shots of the other bing bongs. I'm making more over there, somewhere. You can see my shadow, that's good enough. Yeah, looking good. But I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.